Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so the first garage sale of 2019, I'm so excited. So I went on Saturday and you know, it wasn't too cold, but today I went back and it was a little cold. Um, it was a moving sale, so it was inside and outside, but I feel like I got some da deals. Um, I went to, um, on Saturday, I went to St. Vincent's DePaul and I got some deals there too. So I'm going to show you those first. Um, I'm really excited about this one. And I've talked about this one in my Bolo group and I found one and I'm super excited. So, um, as you watch the video, comment below and you know, if you have any tips for selling some of this stuff, please let me know. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below. All right. I got a lot here, so we're going to get started. Okay. How cool is this? So it's butterfly moth taxidermy. So I picked this up at St. Vincent's DePaul and I think I ended up having 10 bucks in it. So it's just a frame and it is plastic. So I'm super excited about that. That'll be easier to ship. Um, the next thing I got, well, let's see, are these, um, I don't know if you guys have heard, I think it's Jean at the Ashton, Ashton Drake galleries, but it's like an outfit and it's new in the package. Um, I actually got ooh, five of these and this one's really cool. So I don't know if these are like some type of, I know it's not a Barbie, but it's kind of like a, the figure, like the Barbie figures, like maybe that size, not a hundred percent sure. Here's this one, but I looked these up on eBay and you know, some of them are going for more than others. I ended up getting them for $5 each. So I am thinking I'm going to start them auction style at $5 each. I, I, I'm sorry. I got them for $5 each. I think I'm going to start them auction style at 25 and this one still has the original tag on it. And I believe these are vintage. Um, and the original purchase price back then was $34.95. So yeah, I got five of those at five each. So, I'm hoping to sell for 25 each, um, if not more. And then I got these thimbles and I ended up getting six packs of, I think there's 12 in each one. So you can see, but I got these at the St. Vincent's DePaul also. And I want to say I had $5 for all of them. And I haven't researched any of them, but I know some people collect them. I may just lot them up and sell them in bulk, or I may sell them individually. If anybody has any tips on thimbles, comment down below. I could use some help on the thimbles. Okay, so I was kind of excited about these, and my husband kind of gave me the womp womp look like you might not have done very good with those. But I ended up paying a dollar each for them. and. They are trailer wiring kits. And the reason I was thinking that they might do well is because they're for older cars. Like this one's for an F-150 and it's a 2004. Um, so yeah, wiring kits. But I kind of got a lot of them. I ended up having a buck, paying a dollar each. Like this one's for a 1999 heavy duty truck, F-250. So I have not searched comps. So I don't know. Um, this one is a wiring kit vehicle side. Um, and it says Chevy Olds or Pontiac and it retailed for $31.75. So this one's a little bit different, but I mean, I don't know. I figured maybe if they don't make the, them anymore. Oh, I don't know. I probably messed up. I, I'm learning and I'm trying to think outside the box and do things that I normally wouldn't buy. And this was one of those things. I think I got 12 or 13 of them. So, you know, I, I think I can at least make my money back. So I'm hoping to sell them for like 
10 each. That'd be cool. Okay, so on to the moving sale. Wait until you see my goodies. Um, I'm super excited. Uh, I got some really good stuff. So the first thing I want to show you are these kimonos from Japan. Now these, okay, so the lady that was having the sale, I actually ended up knowing her um, through my mom. So uh, I guess I should say my mom knew her, knows her. But um, so I got a little history on some of the stuff, but she traveled a lot. And this is a, I think she called this one a happy coat kimono because it's shorter. But how cool is this? So I saw them yesterday and I really liked them, but I feel like I'm the person that buys it thinking it's going to be a gem and then it ends up being a dud and then I lose money or break even. And, you know, I'm not doing this to break even. So um, I asked her today, she had 20 each on them and I'm like, what is your bottom dollar? And she said, and this is the last day, everything was 50% off. So she was at, today they would have been 10 each. And I said, what's your bottom dollar? And she said, if you take all three, I will give them to you for 20. So I was like, okay. So I went ahead and got them. I'm taking a chance. Um, this one is black, but it's got um, like on the inside of the sleeves, this cool detail. This one is starting to, it needs sewn. It needs fixed up a little bit, but they're super cool. Um, but what I was going to tell you is, she bought them, I think she said 40 years ago. And when she bought them, they were vintage. So I don't know if these are really vintage or if they are antique. So I'll probably list them as vintage just because I don't know 100% sure. And I'm kind of weird like that. But this one is so cool. Check out the arm of this. Ah, I have stuff everywhere. So it's got the little rope. Now this one does have some. She said it was just from being stored in a box. So I don't know if like the box kind of rubbed off on it. She said I could probably get it dry clean, but I'm just going to sell it as is. It's on the inside. The outside looks great, but I mean, I just think this is super cool and I'm leaning towards it being antique. So again, you know, from the box, it's kind of yuck, but I can disclose that and I am thinking I might auction those. So if anybody knows anything about vintage kimonos, let me know. Okay, the next thing I got that is super cool is this Jumbie Jam. And it's a steel uh, drum musical instrument. And it is, I looked up comps and they look good. I did pay $20 for this, which is more than I like to pay. But I'm guessing I can get at least 100 for it. Some of them are going for more than a hundred. So, um, I like this find. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I got a whole bag full of Mary Kay. So I've got the little eyeshadows. There's lipstick. There's, I think foundation. Um, I don't know what this is blemish control toner and then I got this little this was separate this little bag at Clinique I think they had 50 so I paid 25 cents for it but um that's totally different but it's Clinique and Estee Lauder so it looks to be all brand new but they're like sample size but the lipsticks and stuff are full size I want to say there was 51 in here and I ended up I can't remember. It was either 10 or $15 I paid for, but it ended up being 28 cents for each one. So I'm planning on putting these probably on Poshmark individually so that people can bundle with their clothes and stuff like that. I don't know. It could be hit or miss, um, but I'll let you guys know. Uh, right. Okay. So I got, okay. So this, these are like vintage cards and then these are vintage travel postcards, but they kind of look like 
pictures and they don't say postcard on the back but she has postcard written on the on the you see that on the bag so I'm gonna do a little research on those they're very very old these actually say postcard but some of these old postcards depending on you know what's on them you know they can do okay I'm trying to see if there was a date on the back or anything yeah I don't see any but anyway I just grabbed them I ended up can't remember that's horrible because I end up just handing it to them and saying here you go and then they were keeping a tab for me and I'm telling you I got so much stuff so here's more travel postcards more postcards this one has a one cent stamp on it so it's pretty old um, so I haven't really researched them yet I don't know what this thing it says it's dated Mother's Day 1927 so that is really old and it's a they're calling it a vintage card but it doesn't open it's more like kind of like a plaque but it's pretty cool and I love that it's dated on the back 1927 so I don't know if that's actually a photo or if that's it I don't know the photos back then are totally different but this whole thing is full of like vent antique I'd say antique photos you know and again I haven't gone through them I did see this one I thought looked pretty cool but I mean I don't know how to figure out what that is so again I don't know if I'll lock these up and sell them in a this is like I don't know what this is but check that out what do you guys think you see it you think that's anything kind of weird um this is like in a little sleeve which I thought was kind of cool and it opens and it's so like I guess maybe they went to like a studio to have that done so yeah there's some fun little stuff in here I have not really dabbled much in photographs but I know that there's some money in those this one looks like I don't know if that's like Air Force maybe here's another one so it's just it's hard for me to identify these things and I here's that I don't know what do you guys think how should I sell them how should I sell them this one looks like it I don't know is that military I don't know it's hard to tell but anyway I'm not gonna go through every picture with you but I just want to show you guys some of those I can't remember if I ended up paying five or ten dollars for all that um, but I I'm pretty certain I can make my money back Okay, so I got these boots and they are used and I'm kind of weird about used shoes, but they said that they were pretty expensive new and you know, the bottoms look good. They, they do have some, you know, they've been used, but they're, I think they're a uh, 12 and a half and I think I can, I think I can do okay with them. I paid $5 for them. A-S-O-L-O -O is the brand if anybody wants to look it up okay so I got this little bear and he's so cute and I'm kind of weird about plush but since I knew the person and I uh, I felt pretty good about getting it I mean it was in there it was still inside their house and their house was beautiful um, so this bear came from London England and he is adorable and she got it for her kids and she thought that they were going to become attached to it and they didn't and you know parents do that all the time I know my mom's like don't you want this it's from when you were a kid I'm like mom I never touched that I don't remember that thing no I don't want it you know and um that's kind of what happened with this little bear so she had some sentimental value towards it and it is so cute and I can't take how cute it is but I got it for five bucks and I think he'll sell because he is cool but I think it's cool that it's she got it in Lon London so again she traveled a lot and has really neat stuff um I kind of forget what I bought what's in this what treasure do we have 
Okay, so I got this little wood stopper. I think it's a wine stopper, but it looks to be like hand carved. Um, that's, these are, this is broke, but I'm wondering if I can glue it because it's super cool. It's a bottle opener, but again, I think it's hand carved. So if I can get some glue in there and fix that up, I think it might be okay. Here's the other one I got, and this is a music box, and I think that you put it into the wine bottle, and the wine goes in, I could be totally wrong, and then it comes out, <laughs> you can pour it out this guy's mouth. Is that not super cool? And it was working, it like works intermittently, so it's not, there we go. So I did pay $3 for this. I thought it was working. It may only work when it's upside down, you know, like when you pour it. So I don't know, don't know anything about it, but I'm guessing it was hand carved. It's pretty cool. I got this little tin. It's from the Metal Box Company, 1952, but it's got bunnies on it. So I was thinking maybe I could get this listed before Easter. Maybe. And then these are magnets, which I'm guessing go to like a game. Maybe checkers. Isn't checkers red and black? So maybe not checkers. I don't know, but I thought I might be able to sell them. I got them for 50 cents. So that bag wasn't super exciting, but I think these are cool. These little wood things. All right. I got these Rockport shoes. And they're a size 11 and a half. And I paid $2.50 for them today. And it, it says new. They don't look to have ever been worn. I mean, it's nothing fancy, but it's a brand new shoe for $2.50 still in the box. So I figure I can sell them. So I got those. Now, I just noticed that this helmet said 20. And I'm like, oh. Um, which means I paid 10 for it, but, um, I'm hoping I did okay. I looked in and it's pretty impressive. It's like got a helmet case and then the helmet is inside the case and it looks to be in, you know, like new condition. But the cool thing is, is the receipt is still in here and they paid $149.99 for this hat. So, hat, it's not really a hat. What do you call it? A bike or what's it called? A helmet, not a hat. So, um, yeah, I, I think, you know, I might be able to get, I'm hoping I can at least get 40 or 50 out of it if it retails for 150 and it's in great condition. So maybe I won't do that now. I don't want to bore you guys with that. Okay, so this little guy sitting him back there. Okay, so I got these bamboo serving trays and I got 18 of them and I looked up comps and they look pretty good. But I paid $4.50 for 18 of them. I may separate them into two separate lots. I don't know. I haven't decided how I'm going to divide them up yet because there's so many and it'll, I don't, I don't think most people are going to be looking for 18. Um, I got some of these, uh, little golden books and I know they're not, um, typically worth very much, but there was some Mickey Mouse and these are the smaller ones. So I might lot these up and sell them, but I got all of them for $2 and 50 cents. And then I got a couple, uh, there's a couple Christmas books that I could probably sell separately. I don't do a lot of books, but I think that I could definitely expand my store there. Stickers. They were a buck, so I got them for 50 cents. Or no, wait, I got these yesterday, so I paid a dollar for them. But I've done pretty well with stickers. 
and then sometimes I just keep them. <laughs> now this, um, I don't know if this is worth anything or not. It's from 2009. I have a Cleveland Browns one in the garage. It's a little dirty. It's going to need cleaned up, but it's from like 1959, I think. Um, but here's this one. So I think the Cleveland Browns one's probably worth more, but like I said, it's pretty dirty. Um, I got this Clue game for a dollar. Haven't looked it up. I might keep it. I like games. Um, I got this Sports Seen It for a buck. Again, didn't look it up. I'm like, it's a dollar. Um, I got another helmet. This one was $5. I guess that probably goes under the helmet. But this, I don't... I don't know. I have to look it up. Okay, so this is super cool. Um, it came in this little box, but my husband and I were looking at these and we're like, we're, we're a little bit not sure. He thinks these are oven mitts. And I'm like, well, they're oven mitts, but I don't think they're really like oven mitts. I think they're puppets. See, how cool are those? But they're dated um, 1985 and it says Zach Design. So we got the zebra here. Pretty cute. So, anyway, he's like, those are oven mitts. Look at the inside. I'm like, I'm not doubting that they're like oven mitts, but I don't really think that they're used as oven mitts. I think that they're used as puppets. And anyway, this whole little container is stuffed with puppets. Aren't they cute? So I haven't really looked any of them up. This one's a little firefighter. I'm guessing, Let's see if there's a date on this one, 1989. So 30 years old, but this little fire truck with the firefighters. Anyway, there's a whole bunch in here. Here's a, I don't know what this is. Is it a snake? It's kind of like a, no, it's got legs, it's got feet. What is this? Anybody know? Is it a dragon? <laughs> Don't know, but anyway, there's some more puppets in here. Now, it said puppets, and I didn't even look inside. I just grabbed it. I paid $4 for it, but I found these. And I thought my husband said that they said MTV on them. Yeah, MTV 1990, Eureka's Castle. So there's this one. I, don't, I haven't looked these up. I don't know if they're worth anything or not. I think. Yeah, this one's 1990. So these are all, I'll probably sell these all together. But um, I don't know. And then look at these little felt finger puppets. How cute. So I'll sell those together. I mean, I don't know if they're handmade or not, but they're adorable. And then there's these little guys. Finger puppets. I have no clue what this is eyeballs maybe they could sit on a puppet so yeah those are the puppets so I paid four bucks for those pretty certain I can sell them for a decent profit I mean they're old vintage puppets that's fun so that's that okay um I got this and I didn't realize how bad the patch was but the patch has some issues and I paid three bucks for it so I probably overpaid but I know some of the old military navy stuff can be good now this thing's super cool um and she got this in India it's a serving knife and a fork so what you do is you go like this and then it's a knife and a fork you see it so you have this sitting out for whatever it's a fish i think yeah it's a fish i don't know what kind of fish but yeah she got that in india so kind of cool i paid five bucks for it i don't know it might be one of those things where i'm like i think it's cool but nobody else ends up thinking it's cool i'm probably should have waited on these but i went ahead and got them so it's a little brush it's not silver i don't i mean it it it's wearing, so oh, it says something on the side. 
I'll have to look and see what it says. I need a one of those eye things that magnifies it. But it's a brush. I paid two dollars for it. And then this old rattle rattle. I think it says it's pewter. There was some markings on it, so again I need to research it. But this little cup also. So the rattle and the kids cup. I paid two bucks each. I may have overpaid. Sometimes I get caught up in how cute things are. Um I got these mad magazines. Um, I paid a dollar for all of them. It's not a huge stack, but it's decent. These retail for $4.99. Um, so I figured this one says $3.50. I haven't even looked to make sure that they're all mad magazines, to be honest with you. I probably, that. They look like they are, but some of them are three fifty, dollars some are $4.99. But I'm just going to lock these up probably and just sell them together and hope to make a little bit of money. They're not super old. Like this one says 98, 2004, 2003. So, yeah, we'll see. I, I don't think I can go wrong paying a dollar for them. I'm at least going to make my money back. Okay, so I got this dress. And I put it on a mannequin and I took pictures last night and it is Victorian, what did they call it? A Victorian tea dress. Um, she's, I put it on Facebook to get help from my Facebook group. If you're not in my Facebook group, definitely check it out. And somebody told me, I can't remember what it was, but I did write it down. So I'll be listing this tonight auction. I think I'm going to start it at 50. I don't know. It's got, um, it's got some stains on it and the waist of this thing is 10 and a half inches across the front. I mean, that's like tiny. So if you double that, you're at 21 inch waist. I mean, who has a 21 inch waist, but it's very, very cool. And I'm hoping I can get 50 bucks out of it. I'd like to get more. Now, this is awesome. This is a, um, it's a Hawaiian shirt. Is it, it's U-I-M-A-I-K-A-I. And this thing is vintage. And the color is so crisp and bright. I love it. I'm guessing it's a men's small or extra small. It says made in Hawaii but it's super cool. I'm gonna start this probably auction style at 50 bucks. I did pay eight for it. So, um, Candyland game, I paid a buck for it. I just like Candyland, it brings back memories. Okay, so let me, I got this huge box. Can you see? Ties. I don't really like ties. I don't usually sell ties well, but $5, I'm guessing there's at least 100 ties in here. Um, this one's like a football tie. Ralph Marlin, never heard of it. I haven't looked any of them up. I thought this one was kind of cool. Jay Garcia. I, again, I don't know if these are if the brands are good or not, but this one's like a pumpkin one. So there's a lot, like this would be a good, like basketball one. And there's regular, you know, printed ties too, but they're all like pretty cool prints. But I don't know, I figured for $5, I was gonna do it. Hardy Ames, London. Anyway. Loads and loads and loads of ties. And they were all folded and nice. Like this one's, you know, it's like got the Christmas. I've sold Christmas ties before. They do okay. But yeah, there are definitely some fun prints and patterns. Oh, this one's kind of cool. King Kong tie. Ooh, I'm going to put some money on that one. I don't know if it's worth anything. I got to Google it, but not Google it. Search eBay solds. But I do think it's very cool. 
King Kong tie? So I just found that one now. I haven't looked through all these. So I'm definitely like looking forward to checking them out. But I do like that King Kong tie. I think I can make my money back on just the King Kong tie. All right. So in one of my videos, we talked about these, uh, what do you call them? Things, coasters, like that you pick up at uh, sales and stuff. Or not sales, at restaurants. But yeah, I don't know. I just had to grab them because I did a video on them. I paid a quarter for them. There's not many. It may be totally something I shouldn't have picked up, but it was a quarter. And I know somebody told me that they pick these up when they go out and they save them. And then they will auction them off as a lot. Okay, now, what do you guys think on this? I'm not sure if I should have got this because... It weighs a ton. Just a second. Oh. Oh, first off, I'll show you these. I got all these puzzles. They're like cardboard puzzles, but some of them are Disney. There's Gremlins, which I thought were kind of cool. I think I paid five dollars for all of them. Um I did pick these up for 50 cents. Their Christmas plates. Sometimes that Christmas stuff does good around Christmas. It's kind of heavy though. So I don't know. I might have messed up on that one. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. Oh, 32 piece set. And that is heavy. And I know that shipping will be hard, but I looked them up and some I, I found one or two and I think some of them sold for like $100 plus shipping. So I got these an extra set of mugs for a buck to go with it. So I'll probably sell those separate. I mean, they're older. This says they're from Ames, and I don't think Ames is around anymore. I did pick these up for a dollar each. You can see how big they are, and they got the lids. That's just for storage. Can't beat it, right? Buck each. Okay, so now then. I have a few more things to show you. This was set from St. Vincent's de Paul. I they're sharpening blades. I don't really know. But it was 75 cents, so I figured I would take a chance. Alright, so back to the moving sale. I got this for a dollar. I do know clothes, so. This one is, it's Chaps, it's not a great brand, but it's, uh, it was a buck. And it's a button down and, you know, it's, it's all right. Same with this one, it's another Chaps button down. I paid a buck for it. You know, even if I sell it for 10, I'm gonna make some money. This one is Nautica, it's pretty sharp. I like that color. It was a dollar. This is a Tommy Bahama. I paid a buck for it. It's reversible. I might be keeping this one for my husband. I kind of like it. It's a neat color. So I have more stuff. Can you believe I have more stuff? This is crazy. So my first garage sale for 2019 was a score. I hope. I always think that. We'll see. All right. So I got... I almost forgot about this. It's kind of fun. These are keychains, and I got the tote. Can't beat that. But there's just, I mean, it's it's just full of keychains. So I don't know if I'm going to lock these up and sell them in bulk, but I paid $8 for all of them. I really did not want to pay $8 for them, but I did. <laughs> I felt like it was one of those things that I might regret if, if I didn't buy it. But I don't know if there's any in here that are worth anything or not. Some people love keychains. There's a little 
potato head. This one looks like it might be vintage. It's kind of cool. Um, here's a soccer shoe. I may just <clears throat> lot these all up and sell them all together, but this is kind of neat. It says fine wood turnings handmade in West Virginia. And it's I don't know what it is. It's just a key ring, I guess. I don't know. So maybe I'll look that one up. There's definitely, I don't know what this does. There's definitely a lot. Here's one of those little hand clappers. That's not a key chain. So yeah, I don't know. So I definitely need to look through them a little better. But worst case, I will auction them all together. This one's vintage. It says, well, 1982. That's vintage. So I can always lot them all together. This is kind of cool, it's a big safety pin. And sell them in a lot if I don't want to research them which more than likely that's what I do because I'm too lazy to search each one. So those are my keychains, eight bucks. Okay, so I also ended up passing another garage sale when I was on my way to that one. So I went back to it and it was a lot of kids clothing. Um, I got these little Pumas. I ended up paying $15 for a big bag of clothes. Most of it is Ralph Lauren. Some of it's still new with tags. Some of it is, I mean, this dress looks to be perfect. So Ralph Lauren usually does pretty good on Poshmark, but this is all Ralph Lauren. Super cute stuff. It's all 3T and below. I got, um, got this little dress which I want to try and get listed pretty quick on Poshmark because I think it would make a cute Easter dress and then here's another one it, they got this at TJ Maxx it was $16.99 TJ Maxx it retailed for $35 it's just a little Ralph Lauren dress I figure I can I mean I paid $15 for all of it and I have so I'm gonna say less than 50 cents a piece that's another Ralph Lauren so Here's a little Nautica dress, and it's still got the TJ Maxx tag on it. This one's a Nautica dress. So, I don't know, I pick up kids' clothes sometimes. They're fun to put on Poshmark, and then people bundle them, or I bundle them. I did get, oh yeah, you wanna see this. So that's just a men's Ralph Lauren, and a men's Nautica white t-shirt, or polo shirt. Now this one, sorry, is a, is it Lacoste? Yeah, Lacoste, it retails from Macy's for $88, and it's still new with tags. So, I mean, I paid 15 for all of this. Here's another one, it's inside out from when they washed it, but it's another Ralph Lauren. The armpits look a little funky on this one, so I'll probably, end up getting rid of it. I didn't look at the armpits. Um, Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren kids shirts. This is a men's Lacoste and it's not new with tags, but I just grabbed it. And then this cute little sweater. So I paid 15 bucks for all of that, which equals out to, I think less than 50 cents a piece. So I think I should, do pretty good. Um, I did pick up some other stuff that I'm keeping, so I'm not gonna show you guys all that. But that was my 2019 garage sale haul. First garage sale of the year. Super excited. Um, I don't know what I spent total. I have like each, I wrote it all down, but I uh, need to get to work now. I need to get listing. So comment below. Let me know what you think. Did I score or would did I pay too much? What do you think?
I mean, right now, this was worth, worth it. Those keychains right here to have this thing. Kidding. Anyway, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, comment below, subscribe, and click the like button if you like this video. And have an awesome day. Thanks for watching.